Hello everyone. Recently there's been a number of questions on the internet um, and to me personally what can you do with an NFC enabled phone? Um, and there's quite a large number of things that you can do with them and there's an onslaught of new devices on the market that, that support NFC now. The Samsung Galaxy S3 being one, the HTC One X being another one. Um, I do have one of those here somewhere. So what I thought I'd do is I went out onto eBay and I bought um, a few of these. This is just a small self-adhesive sticker. Um, it's no 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 thicker than than a small sheet sheet of card. It's it's tiny, as you can see. Um, it's got the antenna and the little memory chip and stuff in there. So I thought I'd show you what you can do with that. And there's a number of things that you can do. Um, I've got got one of these in a car cradle, so that when I put my my phone in the in the cradle, it sits in front of that chip. And I'll show you now what that looks like. Okay, this is my Brodit car holder, and as you can see here, one of the NFC tags just stuck on the. Okay, so that, that was the cradle. Obviously the phone just sits in, in in front. Now, let's show you what you can do, do with it. Start off with, I've got Tasker installed on the phone. I use that to automate a lot of things. I've also, from the Android store, got a piece of software called NFC Task Launcher. And this is, is a useful piece of software. You can see I've already got um, a few tasks set up in here, but you'd start off by making a new tag. You've got a choice of options here of what you can do with with that uh, NFC tag. Um, you can create a new task, a new switch. Um, a switch means that when you swipe the phone in front of it once, it will do one thing. When you swipe the phone in front of it again, it will do another thing. So, for example, you the first time you could get it to turn on your your Wi-Fi um, and your Bluetooth. The second time it will turn it on, and then it will just do that. Um, you can URLs, messages, um, contact cards, um, or you can, if you've already rewritten one of these, you can kind of raise the the tag. Um, so that you can rewrite it with a with a different command. Um, but I think we'll we'll start here with new task. Okay, we can can call this, give it a, a name. So I'll call it test test task, and we can add an action. Now there's a whole number of things that you can control here. So you can turn the Wi-Fi on and off, Wi-Fi hotspots. Airplane mode. Um, let's just bring that back up. Um, you can uh, change the the sound and volume. Um, social media, so you can can send a tweet. Um, Facebook check in on on where you are. Um, you can control control the the screen options here. Um, but to be honest, I I create most of my routines in Tasker, um, and then I get it to to run run a task. So let's select a task that I've already created, and I'm going to select my task that's called GPS. Okay, this is the one that runs when I put the phone in the in the cradle in the car. So that's done. Now what it's going to ask me to do is present the tag to the back. Okay, tag written successfully. Okay, so if we go back to my home screen now. Okay, if we take a look at the top of the screen, you'll notice that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS is off. The screen is set to automatic brightness. What should happen when I swipe this, this little little tag behind the phone is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS should turn on. Navazon Collector's Edition should open up automatically 
and then the screen should brighten up and go to, to full brightness so 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 automatic will turn off so let's swipe that tag now okay GPS Bluetooth Wi-Fi um, let that connect Amazon has popped up and it's gone into full brightness so I could see see the step in in the screen color there and that's just one thing that you can do um, it is possible that chip can go behind the phone and it can stay there like it does in my car cradle and it will do nothing um, whilst you're, you're driving along everything will stay as you've set it um, until you remove that and you do whatever you do to get back out of this. Me, I've got a Tasker profile that detects that um, I've got out of the van um, and it shuts shuts all these services back down to the way, well, the way they were before. Um, but you can have another another tag that you'll you'll swipe and it will turn off whatever services you don't want. So that's just one way of programming and using these little MiFi chips.